Right, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you use a sighting compass. Um, I'll just show you the difference. That is a base plate compass. And with a base plate compass to find a uh, magnetic bearing, you hold it approximately chest height and you aim the direction of travel arrow as best you can at the landmark while you take your bearing. But with a sighting compass you'll be able to take that bearing much more accurately. When you open the lid you'll see there's a mirror the back of it and on that mirror if I get it the angle just right you'll see a line. Now that's called a sighting line. At the top there that's called the sight about to see that there. Put my finger there. Anyway, that's the sight, and that's the uh, get it again. That's the sighting line. Now then, to take a magnetic bearing with the sighting compass, what you do is you fold the lid at an angle so that you can see the compass housing in the mirror. Hold the compass in the palm of your hand and you look at the site and the location or the landmark in the distance so that the landmark is just above the site. Hold it in that position with the sight line you can see there running through directly through the center of the needle, the compass needle there. Okay, so while you've got that set up, you've got the site with the location just above the site, obviously in the distance. You've got the sighting line directly through the centre of the needle, the compass needle. You turn the compass housing until the red end of the magnetic needle is pointing to N on the compass housing. So keep everything in line, looking at the mirror, you can adjust the compass housing so that you can see the red end of the needle is now pointing to N on the compass housing. Now what you do, open up the compass and at the index line, the very top there, you'll be able to read off the bearing. Now that is a magnetic bearing or a compass bearing that you've just taken. To convert that to a grid bearing you must subtract the magnetic variation but on the majority of um, sighting compasses such as this one you can automatically adjust the variation so that you don't have to subtract or add it. You know it's, it's done for you. You've got a little, uh, see a little screwdriver thingy on the end there and you can adjust the compass housing so you can adjust automatically the uh, vari variation as I say you can forget about it then. So that's it, that's how you use a sighting compass. Very simple and more accurate to take a magnetic bearing than a base plate compass.